Hello, everybody. This is Gleaming Colt. <laughs> Does that feel good to hear? <laughs> yes, um, I'm back from my trip. I'm back from my break. And today, well, while I was on my break, um, the German battleships came out. So, amazing. Or should I say battle cruisers, actually. So, I decided to, well, I was still on my break, and I went to Houston, so I couldn't record anything. I know, that short was just nothing. That was like 15 seconds long. It wasn't much. But, I am now officially back. I am going to be making videos again, and to, you know, celebrate that, it is The Road to the Schlieffen, Episode 2, The Molt Key. The Tier 4 German Battleship, or Battle Cruiser, Moltke. So, um, before we research the Moltke and purchase it. <laughs> Sorry. The S Let's actually talk a little history about the Moltke. The SMS Moltke was the lead ship of the Moltke class battle cruisers of the Imper Ger German Imperial Navy, named after the 19th century German... Field Marshal Helmuth von Moltke. Commissioned on the 30th of September 1911, the ship was the second battlecruiser of the Imperial Navy. Moltke, was, along with her sister ship, Gobin, was an enlarged version of the previous German battlecruiser design, von der Tann, which is at Tier 3, which in, with increased armor protection and two more main guns in an additional turret compared to her British rivals, the in, Indef... Fatabo Sorry. The Indev class. Monkey was uh, and her sister Gobin were significantly larger and better armored. The ship participated in most major fleet actions conducted by the German Navy during the First World War, including the Battle of Dodger Banks Bank Jutland in the in, in the North Sea in 1915 and 16 respectively. She also took part in the Battle of the Gulf of Riga in 1915 and the Operation of Albion. I hope I don't butcher that, in 1917. In the Baltic, Moltke was damaged several times during the war. The ship was hit by a heavy caliber gunfire at Jutland and torpedoed twice by British submarines while on fleet advances. Following the end of war, of the war in 1918, Moltke, along with most of the high seas fleet, was interned at Scapa Flow, pending a decision by the Allies to as to the fate of the fleet. The ship met her end when she was scuttled along with the rest of the high seas fleet in 1919 to prevent them falling into Allied hands. The wreck of the Moltke was raised in 1927 and scrapped in Rost from 1927 to 29. So the Moltke has a interesting career. And a pretty bright career, I should say so. So, now, in-game, this is not a review, first of all. This is the Road 2, so I have no idea how this was. And how the ship's gonna be. So, let's research the ship. And purchase the ship. Yes, I'm keeping my Von because it's a fun ship. But his commander is going over to the Moltke. Because I have well, one. And I'm not saving that. I'm, not, I'm, I'm saving that for the German um, destroyers. I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of use that. But no. Under ton, uh, free course, because I, I use the free course stuff. Um, blueprints, that's easy. Go. There. Boom. Boom. This ship has air defense. Okay. That's something to note. So, survivability. 29,568 hit points um, compared to Moltke von der Tons. Okay, so that's a decent amount. 10% Citadel protection, 10% fire and flooding resistance, 12% damage reduction, 10.50% damage reduction. So, alright, so it's basically Mol von der Ton army armor. Okay. With... What? Wait, Von der Tann gets an 11% fire and flooding resistance. 
Vonderton, I mean, Moltke gets 10. Oh, no, wait, it's probably because of the mod modules. So if I actually take that module out real quick. Yeah, okay, so it is the same. Okay. Okay, it is the same. I was just weird. That's weird. I'm sorry. Max speed, 28.06 knots. So basically the same as the Vonderton. 19.27 seconds, time to full speed. 6.20 degrees per second. Turn time of 12 percent. 12 seconds. Not bad. The guns have a 22-second reload, 10.81 kilometer range, 616 HE damage, 7% chance of setting a fire, AP damage of 1,053, zero damage rate of 250%, turret traverse speed of 4.50 seconds. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Um, secondary guns, um, 8.20 seconds, Five range, 5.61 kilometers. HE damage, 336. Chance of setting fire, 2%. AP damage, 504. Zero damage rate, 150%. Zero turn, turret turret speed, 8, per, 8 degrees per second. So if you're new to the German battleships and you have no clue what these the gimmick of these ships are, the gimmick is this. Basically, um... You can switch between HE and AP secondaries. That's the gimmick of these ships. Oh, yeah, and they get auto secondaries at extremely low tier. So these are 88mm L45s. You get four of these, so I'm guessing two on each side. They are pretty much the same as the Vondertons, except you get a little bit more range and a bit more damage, but, like, by, like, four. Oh my god, you got actually AA. You've got AA. 81 and 18. That's gonna do nothing. Garbage. Garbage, I say. God, that's just disgusting. 9.12 kilometers surf section. That is not bad. It is pretty good, actually, for tier 4, I should say. So, elite bonus. Um, That's a no-brainer. Hull fortification is a no-brainer for me. Camouflage. We're just gonna put the power surge from Tesla. It is Tesla, right? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I had to check that real quick. Um, battle owners, play five battles, win five battles. Easy. No ship skills, of course. Supplies, my basic supply set. Auto resupply. So, high grid coal, prevent, improve crew rations, and preventative maintenance pack. Not bad. Um, oh, yes. So, rather than go in the main gun build at tier three, because that's all you could do. It's secondary time, so secondary battery mod 1 goes in slot 1. That's a no-brainer. Slot 2 is going to go, for me at least, speed. And then, because these are battle cruisers, probably going to go for propulsion. Um, so yeah, meme build, sort of. Well, not slot 1 in slot 2, but slot 3. is. That's just my personal preference, in my opinion. We don't need boosters. Um, Commander, we only get two shit. Skills, so not bad, not bad. Um, alright, the Molt Key. It's a very nice ship. You get just one more extra turret. Okay, so it suffers from that turret bug. Okay, it's not bad. Um, hmm. Okay, so with all this in, 31,543 hit points, 10% Citadel Protection, 10% Fire and Flood Resistance, Damage Reduction of 12%. 29 knots, not bad. 16.87 seconds, time to full speed. The guns have a... The guns are the same. The secondaries have a basically 7 second reload time. Auto secondaries are all the same. The AA is garbage, and the surface detection is quite good. So, the Molt Key. Um, I've never played this ship before, so we're going to have to see. I have one battle for you guys, because I've decided to do a thing where... Tier 2 to 4, you get only one battle. For tier 5 to 8, you get three, two battles. And then tier 9 to 10, you get three. I don't know. It's just, you know. So, the Molt Key. Not bad. Not bad. Um. So, let's get into battle. And, well, real quick, I would like to actually say... We should probably actually compare the Molt Key to the Kaiser, actually, before we get into battle. The other German Tier 4. 
So, Kaiser Jets, no, sec auto secondaries, makes sense. Um, Kaiser is more survivable, has more survivability than the Molki. Very good. Oh, Molki very much dwarfs the Kaiser in speed and everything in maneuverability. So, good job. Um, the guns are much better on the Kaiser. Makes, actually, yeah, they're much better. You get the same amount of guns, and they're so much better. Huh. Okay. Secondaries are actually better on the Kaiser, but barely. It's just reload time, so that's not really going to affect anything. But you do get less of them. All right. Um, but you do also get auto secondaries, so that sort of makes up for it. You get worse AA, but better concealment. All right, not bad. So, the Moltke. Well... Without the river to do, let's get actually, let's get in the, the first battle. battle. We have Domination on Big Race. There is a Hosho, an Ishizuchi, a Bellarathon, a Karlsruhe, a Phoenix, a Clemson, and a Zarya. Oh boy, that's going to be great. Um, Big Race, very good map for low tier and mid tier, actually. So, not bad, actually. Um, spawning in direct center of the map. General quarters. Sort of direct center. I'm going to actually, I'm going to go for B. B area B and C. We go for B and C. So we have a Langley, an Orion, a Moltke, me, Phoenix, Tenuru, Clemson, Wix. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Um, I would actually like to point out some. I'd like to while I'm sailing over to B and C. Well, the trip to Houston was very good, actually. Um, actually trip to Houston was amazing. Um, I got to see NASA. I went to something called the Color Museum. You probably have never heard of it because there's only three in the entire world. I went to see the Gulf of Mexico and honestly everything was just really actually quite fun. So um, if you ever want to go to Houston like do it because there's, so, there's actually a lot of things to do. I didn't get to see the USS Texas because anyone knows. Um, it's dry dock. I assume most of you watching the channel know that um, the ship has been dry dock. I'm joking. I know. That. Assuming, I mean, people probably know the ship is dry dock. But um, yeah. Wow, that may sound out really weird. Really Enemy team captured the area. Right. Um, there is an Ishizuchi, a Larathon, and a Karlshur. That Ishizuchi is number one. About to hit an island. I don't nice shot. Oh. Chunk damage and Carlsher and the the Larathon. Not really a problem. Ishizuchi could become a problem. Um, Phoenix is over there um, helping. No, he's not helping. He's AFK. Brilliant. Oh no, you're not AFK. Never mind. Sorry. Um, then stop staying. St oh, you're not. Staying. God. Um. Now, are you staying or is that just... The team captured the area. Nope, but I still got three hits. Um, god, I think we... Oh, the Ishizuchi's firing at me. Carl Schur's firing at me. This is not prob... This is probably not the greatest time to do this. Wait, I'm a German battleship. I need to do this. But then again, that Blarathon's rushing me. Blarathon wants to rush me? Fine. I... I will rush the Blarathon. Even if the Carl Schur comes close. So, oh, now it looks like Blarathon's not really considering that I'm here. It's fine. Torpedoes! More damage for me. We are horribly below in points. Yay. Oh, our team is losing again. For the 500th time in the row. I I'm sorry for all the battles. Um in my videos that I get a lot of views in. I feel like, I, I think I have very, either I have, I probably have very bad, um, what's it called, something like that. Probably karma, um, but, um, it's just me and the carrier now, and it's probably gonna be a ruffle stomp. We hit the enemy! Yay, Target hit. um, the Larathon is going to be sunk. I'm sorry, 
sorry, we're just we're going to lose this. Enemy aircraft incoming. But you want know me to get a good roll out on you, Come on, you Belarathon, big British team. Come and fight me. Uh no, our carrier is gone. Oh. Enemy aircraft incoming. Yay! So I'm gonna rob them. If any, if I do anything, I'm gonna rob them with their rocket stuff. Maybe, maybe we can get our second kill. Come on. Maybe save the team. No team is about to win. There you have it, boys. My first battle in the... And girls. The first battle in the Blair... In the Moat Key. No offense, this is usually what happens to me. All the time, actually. But, without that out of sight... Um, player detail. Uh, 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 Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry, um, apparently laughing very hard at my team. Yeah, that went well. I literally carried the entire team only to lose. Good job to the Clemson. Good job to the Ishizuchi. Good job to all of you guys. Um, but yeah, you team yeeted it horribly. No offense. But personal battle score: um, forty ba main battery shell hits, sixty-four secondary hits, one hit to the Citadel, one ship destroyed, one ship set on fire, four modules damaged, four enemies spotted, nine taking fire, and one capture struggle. Okay, not bad. Um, we got the battle star. And we caused 47,353 damage, one ship destroyed, 179 team play performance, 531 XP, 25 free XP, 5,333 silver. Okay. The Molt Key. Do I think this is a good ship? <laughs> yeah, this is a great ship, honestly. I mean, I've only played one battle, and it could just be first battle thing. Where you do really well in the first battle and the rest of the battles you do absolutely poorly because it's actually a bad ship. I don't think this is a bad ship. I think it's a good ship. It's like the Vonderton. It is like the Vonderton a lot. But I don't think it's overpowered like the Vonderton. At least in my opinion. I don't think it's overpowered like the Vonderton was. Because the Vonderton was extremely overpowered in my opinion. But the Moki, I think, is a just a strong ship. So yeah. Well, that is it for that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below your feedback. I'm always reading you guys' comments. And join up on my Discord server. We're always having a lot of fun there. And I'm having an event where you I'm having a 30 sub special. Really, uh, 30 sub special where I answer people's questions in a Q&A video, and s people can submit their uh, Minecraft builds. I mean, for a building challenge for building a World War II-themed build. Um, people have, an have asked me questions. Nobody submitted a build yet, so um, you could be that lucky one to submit one. And, yeah. Well, that is it for today. Bye-bye.